Mr. Demola Sodik joins us as a lawyer a member of the Action Congress of Nigeria. Thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you very much, Mbalin, uh, Solomon, and uh, Mopwe. Doing yeah. a wonderful job. Thank you. Thank but you. the thing is, I mean, the, if uh, the, those who will subscribe to the views of Professor Sogolo, that look, it, it's, he, he'd rather not talk about what posters have come up from here and there. But the truth of the matter is, politicians, even before mm. the single act of posters have come forward, are consistently saying, listen, you shouldn't even put yourself up there several times. Whether the media talks about it or not, they are doing their preparations. They're doing what they're doing. Yes. And so, uh, I don't know, is the media supposed to ignore those actions? But from your perspective, what are your thoughts on what's I, going yes, on? Yes, uh, thank you very much. As a politician, you know, I was, rather I don't call myself a politician. I say I'm politically active because mm -hmm. I'm a, I have my vocation naturally. <clears throat> For politicians, it is not out of turn. It is not out of out turn. Of, it is not out of turn. You know, the moment they finish an election, they start preparing for the next one. And, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it should not be an issue for the, the, that the president will bother himself about. A president who has vision of where, if you actually plan to be president at the initial stage, I expect that he will have a plan. He will have a vision. One of the pastors says on, on the, telephone, the television regularly that it's somebody with a vision achieve better than somebody who has a vision for stomach alone. If you have a vision as a president, just as it's done in the Western world, before you get to the stage of even being a party candidate for presidency, <laughs> you, you, you must know your onion. And the people too would know that you know your onion. You must have your plans. You must have a vision where you want to take the country to. It is, it is just a standard behavior over there. And you know, I, I always say that Nigerian democracy is still very is still at a very early stage. I'm sure over time we will get to that stage. Where a presidential candidate, you know, when you hear him speak, you will know that this is somebody who has a vision. President Gulo Jonathan, you know, fair, to be fair to him, I, I never saw him as a as somebody who has a vision for Nigeria. I the circumstances that brought him up, that threw him up as a vice president, you know, the former formerly deputy governor, vice president, and now president. But he talks about his agenda, so that is interpreted as a vision and a mission that is going for the no, country. No, 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 to no, that no. extent. No, those are those are no those are those are just a uh, you know paraphrase, you know, as far as I'm concerned. Since is he became president do? since he became no 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 since he became president, I've not gotten a quotable coach. Is that what you want? No, a quotable quote comes from in a, in a, in a, in a, in a But that is subjective, content. I mean, because some people, who, some other people who mm. say they have thousands of quotable quotes from Mr. And President. Sound bites. And sound bites. And too, no, from him. No, those, those quotable quotes and sound bites, yes. they have a way of motivating you to action. They have a way of motivating you to action. If it comes from him directly, from in, his inner self, and he um, it, it works towards it, and look, Britain now, for this, for this, for this year, they have realism and uh, the, you know, the, the, the realism and, uh, and something. They, it, that is for the year. For this year, we have not gotten... Where we, where, the only thing we have from uh, our president is, oh, I, I admit I've been slow. This year, I'm going to be fast. Now, those are not... Those, uh, Nigeria is, is a, a very complex country. It's a, it's, a, it's a country we are in a hurry to develop. We are in a hurry to catch up. Let's take you back to your, your initial quote about, you know, for politicians, talking about 2015, uh, even in 2011, as soon as the elections were over, were not too early. The question is, how should they go about discussing it? So much so that it doesn't begin to seem to the masses that all politicians are concerned about are uh, one elections and then the other. And in between, they're not really bothered about what development or how development should come to the people. Now, um, as far as the, we are talking of the presidency in Nigeria, if you talk of uh, general politicians, I think the president should rise above, it is natural that the president should rise above politics. We are talking of the fate of a nation. A, f a nation that is about 150 million people. And at this stage, I don't expect a, a serious presidency should not be distracted. Even if the politicians are the, at the level of those who are, who are benefiting from the system. And you know, there are politicians and there are politicians. There are some politicians, even in PDP law itself, that are not benefiting from the system. Those who are putting the posters are those that are benefiting from the system. And they want it to continue. They don't want it to terminate. And I won't be surprised if the presidency, the presidency should be aware of it. And in Lagos, you can't do that. There, is, there are municipal laws that says you cannot, even I saw one on your telly, that, that, uh, post no bill. 
and they posted the bill, they, they posted the bill on, on that. The municipal, municipal government should, should hurt. As you know, I know that Abuja is highly fortified security wise. There are CCTVs all over the place. So they cannot say they don't know those who are doing it. Even if you go to Wadata, Wadata, Wadata they are, the environment surrounding Wadata House in the, the PDP headquarters, the posters are all over there. They emanated from the PDP, the most, I think, the most emanated from the PDP headquarters there. Well, uh, I think the way we, we're going about this now, if uh, loads and loads of people are saying it is unimportant, and you say, well, as soon as uh, you come into office, your campaign for the next uh, election starts, uh, why is this a talking point? Is it because the government has chosen to deny its uh, involvement in this whole uh, poster? There are two reasons. There are, you know, the, one, the, the, the denial from the presidential spokesman, spokesman. Uh, it's marks of a uh, double talk. How? Why? It says the, the, gov the president doesn't know about it. The president has told you that it's not starting 2015 uh, politics yet. But at the same time, he said those posting the posters are trying to express their views, defending them. That is a defense. And he said they, are, they have the right to express their view. I hope that by the time those who are opposed to him start expressing their own views too, in whatever form, there will be no... They will not send SSS after them. Is this an invitation to those who are posing to start expressing? Of course, them? it is. If you have a right to, to, to express yourself, I equally have a right to express myself. If I if you say he can go, I can say he cannot go. It is freedom. So by the time those ones are start you know, expressing their their own opinion, either by demonstration or by posting of uh, counter posters, saying that Jonathan cannot go, you know, they, 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 they should not. The presidency. Should yeah. not now identify those ones. So as because as of now we have a, a poster haram, poster haram. That's poster, poster. We have no problems. Boko Haram is there. Infrastructural decay is there. Why is it that I want to ask? Why is it that from Abuja we always have assault? We are, we are, our intelligence as a psychic has always been assaulted from Abuja all the time. As a politician, your senses are, are being assaulted. No, no. We are, as a nation now, as a nation from the presidency. As a nation, we, his senses have been assorted. Every time the, the information we get from Abuja, the news we get from Abuja is always counter development. It's always you know something that, that, that has nothing to do. That of, has nothing to do with, uh, with, the, with the common the are life of uh, the man in, uh, in, uh, in, in uh, any part of the country. A little out of proportion here. Mm -hmm. How is the pasting of posters counter development? Now, those who are behind it, they are causing distraction to Nigerians. I don't expect the president to be distracted. I said before that the president with vision need not be distracted with things like that. If you have a vision, a true vision to, re to develop Nigeria, that, that's a very small issue. It should not distract you in any way. You have your institutions, you have the, the people, you have your ministers, you should go ahead and impact on the life of the people. But for the generality of Nigerians, the, it's a distraction to Nigerians. Because we are talking of electricity, we are talking of roads, roads. People want to move around from Badagri. In the master plan of Nigeria, there's a, there's a plan to have a road from Badagri to Sokoto. Where, what happened to it? The east-west road. What happened to it? Lagos, Ibado Expressway. What happened to it? We are those are those are issues that we want the president to address. It should not be distracted. You no, know, those are issues that are burning issues that Nigerians are seriously concerned about. I had I read in the paper recently that they want to uh, give uh, farmers uh, tw uh, two million uh, telephone at the cost of uh, twenty million phones at the cost of sixty billion naira. Go to farmers, who, which farmer complained that he has not been communicating with his own people? It's uh, just another avenue to siphon money away.